Katie and I'm back again here in my channel. Welcome to Learn with Katie and today I'm going to teach you how to unzip files. So I use a Mac and so this tutorial is for those who are using Mac computers as well. So I'm using a MacBook Pro with touch bar and I'm not actually 100% sure if it's the same with other models but the instructions that I will be telling you is specifically for this model. I haven't researched if it's the same with other models, but because I'm not really into shortcuts before and I've just recently started learning the shortcuts. So <laughs> I, I have been working on a lot of things lately and I feel like learning the shortcuts intentionally would really help me be more productive. So today we are going to unzip files and here's how i do it i just select so i'm in the downloads folder you're looking at the folder right now of the files that i downloaded from freepik so what i do normally is just to select like this by choosing the files that i wanted to unzip or if i wanted to unzip everything i actually press the shift key so that I can choose the folders that I want randomly. So if I wanted to select multiple files, I actually press the shift key and then draw a line so that I can choose everything. All right. Now, of course, I cannot choose the three here. So if I wanted to choose them as well, I press the shift key again and click on the specific file that I wanted to choose. Now, let me show you how to choose files using the arrow keys now if i click on shift and then i press down the arrow keys watch what will happen so i will be pressing the down arrow right now can you see what happened it actually selected everything on the first line as well as the first file now watch what happens if i click on the up uh, the arrow up now it will choose the file that I clicked first and then the files on top of that selected file. Now watch what happens if I click the arrow that's pointing to the right. It will start to erase that, the files, or not exactly erase, but it will deselect the files. So let's click here and see what happens if there's only one file chosen and I press the shift key and the arrow pointing to the right. So it will select each of the files next to the first file that we chose. And of course, watch what happens if I click on the left arrow. Nothing will happen because there's no file beside it on the left side. So if I come here and click here and press the left arrow then of course it will choose the files on the left side of the first file that we chose which is this one office table okay now let's try to do the first selection which i think is the quickest way to select the files press the shift key and then press your mouse and draw a square like an imaginary square or a rectangle so that all contiguous files will be chosen and if you want to choose the files here on top as well then you can just left click on it without releasing the shift key now you can release the shift key and double click on the file so that it will start unzipping okay watch what happens the archive utility will start to unzip all the files that we have chosen and then we can now access the files so that's how easy it is to unzip all the files and what i do after i unzip is i actually delete uh, the zip files i'm not sure if that's a good idea but that's how i do it because i don't really mind how big the files are ready because I transfer them to my external drive anyways. But if space is the issue with the laptop that you are using, then I suggest you keep this zip file so that um, it will be compressed in your computer. All right, so let me just delete these files. I will send them to my trash bin. So I'll press the shift key and choose the files that I want to move to the trash bin. And then I will drag them to the trash bin. 
there you go that's how easy it is to delete files if you're using a mac computer so let me just delete oh, i mean choose and delete everything okay and then drag all right now we have unzipped all files and then i will be able to use the folders here and the specific file that i want to use if you have questions on how to unzip files if you are using a mac computer then let me know by leaving a comment in the comments box below and i will be linking some articles as well on some hacks on how to use your mac computer more effectively so if you are new to the channel i hope you subscribe just click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you will be notified once a new upload for a new video is up thank you again for supporting me and you have a great day goodbye before you came round my heart would never be much faster before you came round i was ready to